Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a project share of some birthday mail that's going out to Laurel at Lolo Van Crafts. Um, so yes, let's get into it. It's her birthday, I believe it's the 16th of November. So um, yeah, she sent me some lovely birthday mail and I'm going to be sending some goodies back to her. So in no particular order, I'm just going to grab some of the things from the box next to me and show you what I've made. So this uh, banner... Uh, was inspired by Anna at Ephemeris 32 again <laughs> she's a constant source of inspiration is old Anna uh, she often makes these acetate um, birthday banners and um, I've admired them for a long time and I thought perfect opportunity to try one out so as you can see I've used acetate and I've got a sequins mix and Anna always um, sews in the middle just to try and keep them from all falling to the bottom and then I've got um, a fabric ruffle which is actually from Laurel um, when she sent me a birthday mail earlier on in the month she sent me a little bag full of different fabric ruffles so I've used one here and then we've got a rosette and then lots of die cuts from the hooray collection that are behind the rosette and on the front and then I made the pom-poms and I slid the straw through the acetate. I sewed it down there and then just slid the straw through. So that's that. Also in front of me is <clears throat> one of these ice cream cone ones. I made some Halloween ones recently. Um, and at the same time, I made this one for Laurel. And there's a uh, polystyrene cherry on the top. <laughs> And then, like the Halloween ones, I hot glued uh, the beads, actually, the star beads and that cabochon there. Um, and then I glued sprinkles on, artificial clay sprinkles. And then I've got different wool for the different layers of ice cream and all glitter. Look at that. Oh, so sparkly. Around the top of the cone. And then a bow. And then all sorts of uh, fabric. And oh, it's getting all caught around it fabric and um, ribbon tassel so that is also for laurel what else have we got here i'm gifting her some of that pink snow tool and i just popped a doily around it glued these balloons on that i have made with all different wool hanging out and put an l on there for laurel and then just tied it round at the back so she can just undo that or cut it whip that off and she's well away she can use that she probably has that already but I think we all agree that it's just you can never have enough of that pink snow tool uh, what else have I got right I have made her a little party hat I made one for my nan who has recently turned 95 uh, this month and so I made another one a different one for Laurel so obviously it's quite small I've got small hands and it fits <laughs> the palm of my hand it's just a bit of fun just so she can pop it on her desk or a shelf or something like that in her craft room. And the pink star there, that puffy star, that was from Laurel as well when she sent me the uh, birthday mail. And then I've die, uh, die cut, I've cut out, I've fussy cut out the icons from Hooray and layered it up with all sorts of oh, trim that I made and um, this star trim. And I made that pom-pom using a mixture of pink wool and the rainbow eyelash trim that I use all the time. And then speaking of the, <laughs> the gold trim, one of the things that Laurel said that she doesn't have a lot of is trim. So that's one of the things that I have uh, purchased for her. And so I decorated the top. It just looked white, you know, when it, when it arrived. So I die cut uh, some circles. And stuck them on the top and the bottom and then embellished it a little bit with some more hooray and what do we have we've got right so i did um one of rachel tallman's youtube hops back in the summer it was the ice cream and lemonade um theme and when i entered it my the my plan all along was and then this is going to go to laurel and um, so it, for me it was two birds one stone I got to take part in the hop 
um, but I also wanted to send something like this to Laurel, like a 3D project that has no purpose. It is just there to look fun and pretty in a craft room. So I've made all the ice creams and all their drizzle on the top and I made the structure again. Um, the market stall itself was um, inspired by Anna at Ephemeris 32. She's got a couple of uh, tutorials, I think, uh, definitely one. Um, I will try and link it below. Not that mine is the same measurements, but that's where I was um, inspired uh, to make it in the first place. And the papers, I can't remember where they're from now. It's a shop from Etsy, they're just digital papers, because um, I wanted one with lemons on it, as it was lemonade or lemon, yeah, lemonade and ice cream. Um, but otherwise, there's a mixture of Sweet Story and Summer Days, is that what it's called? I've got the thing here, hold on a minute. Simple stories. I saw it today. It should be right by my desk. Aha. Sunkissed. That's it. It's called Sunkissed. <laughs> I'm crashing about here. Uh, there's not a lot of room between my chair and the table behind me, and my fat bum just smacked into <laughs> smacked into everything. So yeah. anyway, that's that. Also for Laurel. What else do we have? I have, um, oh, take the price off. <laughs> Good to be prepared, isn't it? Uh, two pack, two pairs of fluffy socks here that I thought as we're coming up for colder weather, uh, they'll be nice and snuggly for her. Oh, do I dare risk opening this? Okay, <laughs> I've made, <laughs> I'm not going to open it. You have to watch her unboxing. Um, but inside there are three. One, two, I think two. Well, there's definitely three. There's three embellished rosettes in there. And I thought, how can I package them up? And I spotted these um, jumbo sized uh, tree decorations in my stash. And I thought, I'm going to pop them in there with a load of shred. And, and then she could pop it open and um, take the rosettes out. But I tell you what, it's really tricky to do up. It just doesn't want to do back up again very easily. And today I have open closed it, open closed it so many times. I'm not going to do it again. Um, but yeah, I just thread um, some ribbon through the whole bit at the top. And then I made this bow. And it's got an iridescent uh, jimmy in the middle. And it's for that rainbow eyelash trim. And I just glued that on the top. So I'm hoping, there's a knot on the back of my ribbon, that it, it hasn't glued them <laughs> totally together and she'll be like this trying to open them so I hope that she figures out just yank it open you could always throw the ball ball away it's just a plastic ball ball I just thought it was a fun way of packaging something up for her right another thing um I recently made a uh, autumn or fall version of one of these um, that was inspired by Tennille at Paper Milkshake and so I've made a birthday one a birthday one for Laurel, so I've got this kind of colour, like a sea foam, <laughs> it's fancy isn't it, um, like sari ribbon, closing it. The papers are from Hobbycraft, um, it's not crepe paper or anything, but they're just a lot of fun. And I snapped, snaffled them as soon as I saw the pack because I thought that's perfect for like birthday mail. But otherwise, this has got um, a sweet story, um, the giraffe, the flower. And then these two pieces behind are from Hooray. And the uh, rosette is from Laurel. She sent me a lovely little box full of um, full of uh, lovely rosettes with tulle over the top. So I use one of those to make uh, the front cover. And when you open it up inside this pocket, we've got the black swan from Sweet Story. The heart is from Hooray. And then Emma from Project Sparkle sent me some... Um, puffy stickers from Rosie Studio. I've got them here as well. Ta -da! So <laughs> I've been using them, Emma. Uh, and so I've stuck on Time to Party because this is all um, birthday inspired. So let me try and pop this down a second. I might need two hands. So Tennille made these ones at Christmas and so obviously it was all Christmas orientated. Uh, but this one is birthday so we've got gifts. Oh god, I can't remember how I did it. Oh, it's this way around. So um, Laurel can write any gift ideas down. 
for other people. And then we've got party. So she can make any notes for her, herself, her husband, her son, <laughs> or any party that she may be organising. And then I have a vellum pocket here. And we've got one that says pen pals in case uh, Laurel's ever sending any more birthday mail. And I've got yeah, gold puffy alphas there. And then we turn it over and we've got a sequin shaker pocket with some pretty sequins inside. And then we have wish list. So again, there's lots of hooray. I just love hooray. So much fun. And holographic puffy alphas on the top of that. And then in this side loading pocket, I just um, stuffed in a whole heap of different cut aparts from the Hooray collection. So Laurel can use those for her crafting or, you know, to make the tags to actually uh, put onto gifts. Anything she wants. And then again, on the uh, this kind of a pocket, <laughs> there's just a few more. A little party never hurt nobody. And this one and that cute bear. I just love this bear. He is just the sweetest. Look at his little claws. <laughs> They're like mine. And then at the back, we have uh, friends. So she can um, obviously make any lists for friends and family. And there he is again. Um, whether it's parties or presents or, I don't know, restaurant bookings, whatever it may be. Um, I just thought, as I said in my other video about the autumn one, um, to Neil's, you know, original version was uh, for Christmas. But um, obviously that's a great idea. I'm not going to get this done up, am I? I'm going to do that up in a minute. <laughs> this video will be so long. Um, yeah, Christmas is a perfect um opportunity um to make something like that because you do make lots of lists at christmas but you could use that idea for any theme that is my plan my theory right i'm really pleased with this although it might be difficult to show i have made her a caravan a birthday caravan or camper so the paper is actually let's celebrate by first edition um and then i've just adorned it with, with pom-pom garlands it's got sequin shaker windows so much stuff in it i don't think they're gonna shake they do shake ordinarily and then i um added some holographic circles on the wheels trying to turn it around and keep in frame um so yes uh, that very glittery sparkly star is also from laurel that she sent me with the birthday mail i've added some of that gold star trim that i'm gifting her i got one for myself and one for her when i ordered it and there's the jimmies and well you can see you can see what's there there's <laughs> one of these fancy rosettes because laurel also sent me the dye to make these so thank you laurel i've been using it and I've been using the stars. I really love using the stuff that people gift to me. I, you know, I don't want to just keep it in a drawer and never use it. So I really tried to delve into the things she sent to me. And then, let's just create some room again. It opens. And inside, because she wants trim. Uh, there's lots of trim. So, let's get this out. We have um, huge jumbo white pom-pom trim we have huge jumbo pink pom-pom trim and then we have a huge jumbo <laughs> pale pom-pom trim but first this lace is trying to escape i just popped it on an old thread that i found you know the spools i've got like an old chocolate box i think it is full of um sewing machine thread and uh, this one was pretty much empty it literally had a, a wisp of thread left on it so i pulled that off and then wound the lace round and stuck a pin in it so that's for her here it is get it out the there's lots of that one the pale pink jumbo pom -pom trim there's smaller pom-pom <laughs> there's a lot of pom-pom trim <laughs> there's uh, these two different 
one's peach and one is a lovely it's not even really a baby pink it's a it's quite an odd uh, colored pink but beautiful nonetheless and then da, 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 the rainbow eyelash <laughs> oh it's stuck there we go but i'm trying to send to everyone when i get the chance this is what it looks like there's a lot of white really but that magenta and the blue and the gold it just really pops when you um glue that onto the back of some chipboard now will i get this all back in probably not i'm going to give it a go Ooh, i don't think i am i think this is going to be something else i'm going to have to do off camera oh no i think this might be the last one there we go and then i've got velcro closing it check that out so this was a, a cup file oh i got it ages ago i have to see if i can remember where i got it but i adapted it as i do most cup files so like this bit here i made that wasn't part of it and it didn't open like this i think it may have opened at the top but i didn't like that and so basically all i did from that cup file is i used my cricket and i cut out pretty much the, this side and then this side um separate you know cut the windows out separately cut the doors out separately and this yellow strip that runs behind everything cut the door out the wheels and everything else i've just i've made myself i just got long strips of card scored it at the width that i wanted the caravan to be and then made my own slots and glued it together so i can try and find the link to the cut file but it won't look like this because um i've adapted it i'm afraid because uh, i wanted it to op open at the rear like that so that i could get more in but yeah i'm waffling as usual so <laughs> we have that and then i've done another one of these um sweetie sequin shakers and i've added a great big candy and there's some uh, fun beads on there that i've wire wrapped and I've added another one of those stickers from Emma that says happy birthday. And that lovely sugar sachet from Sweet Story with the rainbow eyelash trim on the back. So that's for Laurel. And then I think it's just shop for things now. Where did I find these? I can't even remember. It might have been Sainsbury's. The supermarket. I think it might have been Sainsbury's. But they're those, um, I don't want to open it. I think they're those fold out, you know, like those honeycomb i'm not even sure because i haven't opened it but i just spotted them and thought well that's fun for birthday <laughs> so she's got those straws and then i haven't made the bag all pretty yet but i've got this paper bag here and in there i like some self-care things we've got this bath fizzers surprise bag uh -huh -huh. and these face masks they all came in a pack but i took them out the pack and then realised that they've stuck them all together. Well, that one wasn't. Oh, well, they're all falling apart. <laughs> they've got like that stuff that they put on. Oh, God, it's now got reattached. Ah, dear. Oh, this could only happen when you're filming, couldn't it? Oh, my God. Sorry, Laurel. <laughs> Manhandling all your things. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So there's <laughs> watermelon resting peach face i thought these were so funny um peace love and pineapple strawberry bliss and what was it? oh god this one's just rogue isn't it feeling very fine so but yeah loads i love the colors of them they're like nice pastely colors and they feel really squishy so i'm hoping that they will be nice and opulent there's a word for this time of night uh, so that's in that bag. And then look at these cute little bags. I found these in, is it Tiger? I don't know, it was in Oxford Street. There is one in Canterbury, which is a lot more near me. But I was in London and I, <laughs> I popped in there and I picked up these pack of gift bags. They're just too cute. And then I'm going to gift her some of these star embellishments that I like to use from the works. And it's folded over um, these heart jimmies. So they are in that gift bag. 
What's in the last one? Even I can't remember. Oh, they go back in. What's in this one? It's like a party. It's like a birthday for myself, except I'm giving it away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so um, I've got these lovely little glass. They're glass um, jar pot things, and they've all got different sequins in. Look at those. I meant to pick one up for myself as well as um, other people, but I didn't realise till I got home that the one, well, one of them that I'd picked up out of the handful that I'd bought, they had different, it was all like seed beads in. So I am giving away all the nice glitter and I'm going to keep the seed bead ones and chuck them away <laughs> and just use the pots. I'm kind of gutted about that. Um, and I'm also gifting her some of these um, heart. Uh, embellishments I often stick them on uh, the front or back of rosettes when I make them or you can use them to scatter into a shred and then I'm so disappointed that this has come in such a unexciting looking receptacle but it's the die to make the um, macaron you know cake stand thingy that everybody uses and again I only bought one I didn't get one for myself <laughs> just got one for Laura which took ages to arrive it's normally quite quick things from Aliexpress but that just seemed to take forever so now I'm really annoyed that I didn't order one for myself at the same time but hey ho she sent me that lovely um rosette die so I wanted to get her a die as well and it's finally arrived so I'm gonna pretty this all up and get it to the post office as soon as possible because yeah uh, her birthday, I believe, is the 16th of November and she's in Canada and I'm in England. So I really want to get it sent off as soon as possible. But anyway, what a mess this looks like. <laughs> when I watch other people doing project shares, they kind of lay it all out so nicely. And mine's just like a jumble, a jumbled mess on my desk. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. Uh, I hope to see you all very soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.